In this one, I'm gonna show you guys block by block how to put together an unlimited and automated infinite experience farm in Minecraft. This is gonna use zero tick to do, and it's gonna be super simple. Uh, this is what I have set up right here in mine, but the one that we're gonna make is gonna be way more simple than this. I just wanted to show you guys how powerful these things really are. So if we just go ahead and start taking out the green dine here, you guys can see just how much levels you can get with this setup that we are gonna build together today. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. So in the matter of seconds, I think that was like almost just one second we did that. We got to almost 200, level 200. This is absolutely crazy, guys. This is absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna show you a super simple way that you can do this in your own world, and let's get right into the build. Once again, I wanna give you guys the opportunity to win a shout out on a future video. And all you gotta to do to enter is subscribe to me and leave a comment on this video, and I will choose a winner in about one month's time. Cool, so let's get back into the content. So the first thing you wanna do is decide where you want all of the green dye to output, cause that's essentially what we're doing. We're gonna do a zero tick for cactus and a zero tick for bamboo. And we're gonna be cooking the cactus with the bamboo, which is gonna make green dye, which we're gonna build up all that experience in the furnaces. And then we can go ahead and just collect that experience whenever we want it. Let's go ahead and put the chest down, put a line of hoppers, of uh, four hoppers going into the chest. Put the furnaces on top of that line of hoppers. Go ahead and put some uh, solid blocks right in front of the furnaces and just put um, some levers on the front there. You don't need to switch those. We can leave those unswitched for now. Now you need four hoppers going into the back of the furnaces and four hoppers going into the top of the furnaces. We're gonna be putting the bamboo in this way. So make a line of hoppers that go across the top of the hoppers going into the back and then make a line of hoppers that go across the top of the hoppers going into the top as well. So now we just need to get the, um, the cactus into this hopper here and we need to get the bamboo into this hopper over here. I'm going to build this one a couple more out um, and then we can just start building the zero tick machine for the cactus here and the zero tick machine for the bamboo on this side. So for the side of the cactus, you wanna build a building block uh, two blocks up or the third block up. Go ahead and put redstone torches on either side of it. And we wanna put a lever on the back and just switch that lever for now. And then you wanna put sand on top of those um, redstone torches right there. You also wanna put blocks on either side of this lever like that. And we also want to build up a block so it's like kind of like a bullhorn shape just like that. Now that it looks like this, we want to put sticky pistons attached to the blocks on the side like so. And then we want to put dots of redstone on the lower part like that. So now this thing should be working. So you see it's getting powered, but then we need to put some pistons down below to ensure that these pistons get zero tick. So go ahead and put a piston below that block like that a piston below this block like that, and then also put some on top just in case we need those ones. Now when we switch this lever, we can see that the sand in the middle is getting zero ticked, and that is gonna be the mechanic that actually allows the cactus to grow super fast. And if one of these four pistons was not going, we could take it out, but it looks like all four of them are going on this one. Uh, so we don't actually need that one. We can see it's still zero ticking. So you can see even just with the, the two below, it's still working. We can see as soon as I take one out, then it kind of gets jammed up and doesn't work. So we just need to make sure that that one stays there so that it can still just do its thing. Now we need something up top to actually push the cactus forward when it gets, uh, when it's grown. So go ahead and just build up an observer facing down into the redstone like that. Go ahead and put a solid block on top of that. So again, I'm using that iron block and then you can put another piston there. Now, when we turn this thing on, that piston should be going as well. Great. Now what we have to do is we put the cactus in place and now we need to guide it into this hopper with some glass. So go ahead and build up some glass um, around where this cactus is gonna be 
being pushed into so that the only place it can go is actually into the hopper there. And you need to keep in mind that you can't put anything next to the cactus. So you can't actually put a block here, otherwise it's gonna break the cactus. But we can kind of surround it like this so that the only place it can go is into that hopper there. So now when we turn this on, this should be working. And that one actually, it fell on itself um, and then it broke, which I mean, that'll happen occasionally, but most of them will actually go into this hopper. So now you can see uh, this furnace here is actually filling up with cactus. So that's great, that's what we wanna see. Now we need to build that same thing with a bamboo on this side. So we're gonna start this block one below where the hopper is. Go ahead and put those redstone, redstone torches on the side again. Let's build up this bullhorned shape, just like this. And let's put, let's put sand down on top of these torches again. Now it's when we need to put the sticky pistons facing into these blocks on the ends, uh, on the side of these bullhorn uh, shaped blocks right here, just so it looks like that. And let's go ahead and start with just the two down below and see if that will work. And then all we need to see if this is gonna work is some redstone dots right there. So we can get away with just using those two. But if this isn't working and you use those two, go ahead and try putting some up top and see which ones are actually getting it to go. We're also gonna need the observer and the solid block and then the piston up above to make sure that we're pushing all of the bamboo into that hopper right there. Go ahead and put a lever on. You can switch that off for now. Put the bamboo on there, but you gotta make sure that you put two down and it looks like that before you start this thing. Otherwise you could run into some problems. Let's go ahead and just surround this thing in glass like we did the cactus. But this one, you can actually put glass on the side of it without any issues. So that's what we are gonna do. So we can just surround it in there like this. And now this one is all good to go. We can even put a glass block down there so that the only place is the back. Or the only place where it can go is the hopper. So now when we turn both of these on, they're both gonna go and they're gonna fill up these furnaces. And this one's gonna fill up starting this way. This one's gonna fill up starting this way. And just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna take out these hoppers uh, just so that everything funnels into this one furnace right here. And now everything's good to go. Um, so now all of the green dye, when it actually gets cooked, is gonna end up in here. So you can see that's our first green dye. And then it's gonna build up all the experience from this cooking. And then all you're gonna have to do whenever you want to get access to that experience is just flip the liver of the furnace that you actually wanna collect the green dye from. So that's why I put it on all these so that you can use these for different mending tools if you want. You know, you could use this one for your pickaxe, this one for your ax. Um, so you can just do use different furnaces for different things. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just pull it out. And as you saw, some, some experience just trickled in to my being and I got a little bit more experience in me. So cool, this is a really simple way to get a lot of experience super fast. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like and share it with a friend who you wanna show this off to. You know, your friend might really love seeing this video. Cool, I hope to see you in the next one. And, and a way that you can do that is by subscribing so that you end up in the next video and you get to hang out with me again. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now. Just how much levels you can get with this setup that we are gonna build together today. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. So in the matter of 